What's up guys, Beard with ABC Duelist bringing you a brand new video today. We have an unboxing of the new set that features Link Summoning, uh, the very first set to introduce it rather, um, and that is you, uh, the new Code of the Duelist set. Um, now this has um, a lot of brand new Link monsters um, and some new archetypes in it, so that's going to be really awesome. I'm really excited for it. Um, let's get right into it. I know there's been a lot of mixed reviews <clears throat> in regards to this set. Um, both from like a competitive and a non-competitive. But the way I see it is, it's like, it doesn't really affect me. I just like playing Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm going to pick up the set anyway. And you can't really do anything to change my opinion on it, so. I don't know why everyone's complaining, but then again, it is Yu-Gi-Oh, and people always complain, so. Gotta love it. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, there's also some really, a really cool archetype in here called the Vendreds. Um, it's a TCG exclusive, and I'm really excited for that. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to the most, but, uh, let's get right into it with first pack here. All right. Okay. Starting off with Destiny Hero Dangerous, uh, Air Cracking Storm, Pulse Mines, uh, Spellbook and Knowledge as an Ultra Rare, Supreme King Dark Dragon Dark Rebellion as our rare, Prayer Plant Banksy Ogre. Uh, Treasure Panda, Supreme Rage, and Wicked Acolyte, Shylam Sabak. Um, now, Spellbook of Knowledge, I've heard, is a really good ultra rare. Um, it's pretty generic. Uh, works in any spellcaster deck, really, so it's really nice with, like, Dark Magician or things like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's a nice draw draw engine, I guess you could say. Um, once you draw two, so that's pretty cool. And ultra rare right away, so that's pretty cool starting off with. Um, it's kind of awesome. Let's see. Alrighty, we have Launcher Commander, World Legacy's Heart, Jack Wyvern, uh, The Ascendant of Thunder, Lila Twilight Sworn Enchantress, Goki Suprex, uh, Twilight Twin Dragons, Stack Reviver, and Orbital Hydralander. Also Twilight Sworns are in here, so I'm really excited for those as well. Um, as well as Goki, that's the other um, archetype that I'm looking forward to building. Because um, they look really cool, and apparently they're based off wrestling, I haven't really noticed that yet, but... Um, uh, I'll have to keep looking. I mean, the set, the archetype did just come out, so. Really excited to see what they do with that. Alright, Zombina, Jane Light Sworn, Twilight Sworn General, Launcher Commander, Ib the World Chalice Priestess, Goki Rice Scorpio. Alrighty, we got Transmission Gear, Performer Pilot Trump Panda, uh, FA Hang On Mock, and Predator Plant Banks Yogurt. Now, FAs, um, that's another uh, TCG exclusive archetype. Um, they're kind of like the UAs, only they're more based on, like, racing, like Formula One, I've noticed. So, it's pretty cool to see what they'll do with those. I know they're, like, level-based, and atta their attacks are based on their levels, and they increase levels during, like, damage step and stuff like that. So, it's pretty cool and interesting to see what they'll do with that. Air Cracking Storm, FA Sonic Meister, Chosen by the World Chalice. Vendred Revenant, so that's one of the first uh, Vendred cards that we got here. Really excited for that. Cybers Wizard uh, for a super. Ryko Twilight Sworn Fighter. Abyss Actor Trendy Understudy. Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. And Beckoned by the World Chalice. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's see here. Alrighty, World Legacy's Heart, DD Vice Typhon, Emerging Emergency Rescue to Rescue. We got Topological Bomber Dragon as our Seeker Rare. That's awesome. It's a Link 4, uh, 3000 attack, 2 plus effect monsters. This is kind of like Decode Talker where you can use 2 um, effect monsters as long like say you're using like a Link 3 and then a 1 effect monster. That's how you can do it. Um, otherwise, um, four effect monsters. It's pretty cool. I really like it, just as long as it links up to four. Um, and if another monster is special summoned to a zone, a link monster points to while this monster is on field. Destroy all monsters in main monster zones. Also, your other monsters can atta cannot attack for the rest of this turn. After damage, calc if this card attacked an opponent's monster. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. So that's really cool. It's got three points uh, down, or four points, uh, geez, four points down left. Uh, down, down right, and then up middle. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's a nice secret rare there. I'm um, really excited to see what, you know, what people use this for. So I'm excited for that. Uh, continuing on, we got uh, Supreme King Dragon Clearwing, uh, Smile Universe, 
to go with Smile World, I guess. Infernity Patriarch, Wicked Acolyte, Shalom Sabak, and Stack Reviver. Really awesome that we got our secret rare this early. I'm really excited. Uh, hopefully the other one is Rescue Ferret. Um, that one's like really cool. I'm a huge fan of ferrets, so. But nice, we got Topologic Bom Bomber Dragon, so it's really cool to get. Um, during the sneak peek, I didn't get any secret rares. Um, I was actually out of town when the sneak peek happened, so I ended up finding a local card shop where I was, and uh, I ended up getting one of the Trick Star. I think I got a Holly Angel, um, so that was pretty cool. That was a nice, um, nice ultra rare to get. All right, we got Dark World Brainwashing. We have FA Circuit Grand Prix. That's the field spell for FAs. Boogie Trap. Jane Twilight Sworn General, DDD Hi Wave High King uh, Kaiser, Imduck the World Chalice Dragon, alrighty, Hackworm, Crowned by the World Chalice, and Predaplant Banks Ogre, alrighty, and now that's a nice Link Monster for the World Chalice Monsters, so that's pretty cool. One normal monster except a token, so it cannot be like, you can't use it with Gofu or anything unfortunately, um, but that's pretty cool. Um, it's really easy because all the World Chalice monsters, basic monsters, are normal, so that's pretty nice. Um, that's a nice Link monster for them. Alrighty. We got Jane Twilight Sworn General, Pulse Mines, Boogie Trap, Punishment Dragon as an Ultra Rare. Awesome! This card is awesome. I love the way it looks. Um, I mean, I love how Judgment Dragon looks, so to get like almost like an evil version of, Je of Judgment Dragon, that's even better. Uh, cannot be normal summon or set, must be special summoned from hand by possessing four more banished light sworn monsters with different names. So kind of like Judgment Dragon, only instead of them being in the graveyard, they have to be banished. Um, and then this is a quick effect, you can pay a thousand, shuffle into the decks all cards in the graveyards and all faced up banished cards except light sworn monsters. And then once per turn, if your light sworn monsters effect is activated, send the top four cards of your deck to the graveyard. So that's really nice, um, unlike Judgment Dragon where it clears the field, this Clears the graveyards. So that's really cool. Really awesome ultra rare. Hopefully I get another one. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I'm really excited for Twilight Swarms. Hopefully they get more support going forward here. We got Ryko Twilight Swarm Fighter as a rare to follow that up. Smile Universe. FA Downforce is a quick play for them. Uh, FAs. Orbital Hydrolander. And then Gravity Lash. Alrighty. World Legacy's Heart, DD Vice Typhon, Emerging Emergency Rescue to Rescue, Destiny Hero Dangerous, Cracking Dragon, uh, Twilight Eraser to go with those Twilight Swarms, Perform a Pal of Trump Panda, Three Strikes Barrier, and Abyss Actor Trendy Understudy. Very nice. Okay. FA Circuit Grand Prix. Jack Wyvern, Defense Zone, that's a pretty interesting field spell. Break Off Trap Hole is a super rare, very nice. Recall, which is also pretty good. Uh, basically, it negates the activation of a monster's effect, destroy that card, and then your opponent draws one. That's the only downside, but it does negate effect, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Twilight Twin Dragon, Stack Reviver, Orbital Hydrolander, Abyss Actor, Trendy Understudy. Alrighty. <laughs> Okay, we got a Jack Wyvern, Speedroid Passing Glider, Galaxy Worm, World Legacy Landmark, Trap Tricks Mantis, which is a card that I got during the sneak peek. Um, it's pretty interesting, it's a nice uh, new Trap Tricks monster, um, I wouldn't overlook it um, if you're playing Trap Tricks, so that's pretty cool. Um, we got World Legacy World Chalice, we got Infernity Patriarch, Samurai Skull, which is really nice, it's basically like a Mizuki and a Gozuki in one card. Um, really awesome, especially with um, those Vendreds, those new zombie, um, uh, the zombie ritual. Couldn't think of the word for a second. So that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully I can get a play set of those as well. Uh, we got Chosen by the World Chalice, Go Go Go, Aristera, and Dexia, Launcher Commander. Heavy Storm Duster, this is also a really good card. It's basically a Twin Twister that you can activate. Um, on your opponent's turn, which you can do with Twin Twister, but there's no cost. The only thing is you can't conduct your battle phase the turn you activate it, but it's a trap, so you can activate it on your opponent's turn and be just fine. So that's pretty cool. Really nice to have um, another, basically, version of Twin Twister, so that's pretty cool.
Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, Beckoned by the World Chalice, Hackworm, and Crowned by the World Chalice. So we got all three normal World Chalice monsters in that pack. That's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty awesome here. Alrighty. Let's see. We have Zombina. Vendred Revenants. Really nice. Especially for those Vendreds. Backup Secretary. Uh, right. Go, go, go. As Aristera and Dexia. Goki Rematch as our super rare. World Legacy Discovery, which is the World Chalice uh, field spell. FA Downforce. Orbital Hydrolander and Gravity Lash. Alrighty. Let's see. We also have here, on the uh, starting on the other half now, F.A. Sonic Meister, another Zombina, World Legacy Landmark, Trickstar Light Stage as our Ultra Rare. It's the field spell for Trickstars, which is really nice. Uh, Blind Obliteration, uh, Crowned by the World Chalice, F.A. Hang on Mock, Twilight Cloth, and Hackworm. Pretty cool. Still looking for that Rescue Ferret, or even the Firewall Dragon that's on the cover. Um, so that'll be interesting. Hopefully we can get those. FA Circuit Grand Prix, Jack Wyvern, Defense Zone, Chosen by the World Chalice, Mrs. Radiant. Now that's a pretty good card too. Um, two Earth Monsters, so it goes with any Earth deck really. Um, Zodiac, um, Subterrors. Um, it's really nice. Um, kind of generic. Um, two Earth Monsters, so I mean it's not really too generic, but like its effect is all Earth Monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. And then, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, target one Earth Monster in your graveyard add to your hand. So that's pretty cool. It's 1400 Link 2. Um, it's got down left, down right. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. It kind of helps out Zoo, which is awesome because Zoo needs it right now. Because um, they're very extra deck heavy. Um, but we'll have to see what you know they have in store for the future of Zoo. But Mrs. Radiant's a really good card to help them out, especially starting up with Link Summoning here. We got Re-X or Re-E-X. It's a nice little dinosaur there. Wicked Acolyte, Shalom Sabak, Twilight Twin Dragons, and Crowned by the World Chalice. Okay. Alrighty. DD Vice Typhon, Avenger Out Revenants. I believe that makes a place out of that now, which is really awesome. Uh, Emerging Emergency Rescue Rescue, DD Wave High King Kaiser. Uh, Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. Revendred Origin, which is the ritual spell for Vendred Slayer. Really nice. Perry Knights, which is just an interesting looking card. Uh, I love the artwork on that. And then Treasure Panda, again, another card with interesting artwork. Very Indiana Jones-esque. So that's really nice. Okay. Still hoping for more Vendred cards. That's what I'm looking for the most, obviously. Go Go Aristera and Dexia, Launcher Commander, Destiny Hero Dangerous, Air Cracking Storm, Cybers Wizard, really nice Cybers card, uh, DDD Gust King High Alex, Gust High King Alexander, sorry, FA Hang On Mock, Twilight Cloth, and Hackworm. Okay, Galaxy Worm. Uh, backup Secretary, Junk Breaker, Trickstar Reincarnation is our other Seeker Rare, really nice. Banish your opponent, <laughs> banish your opponent's entire hand, and if you do, they draw the same number of cards. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Trickstar monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Really interesting Seeker Rare, very nice. Uh, back to the front is a rare. Now this is an interesting card, it's kind of like a Call of the Haunted almost, only there's really no cost. Uh, target one monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position, and it's not a continuous, so you can activate it and then just be fine. You don't have to worry about it getting destroyed and losing the monster. So that's pretty cool. Uh, three Strikes Barrier, Abyss Actor Trendy Understudy, Infernity Patriarch, and another Samurai Skull. Alrighty. We have Pulse Mines, Zombina. Jane Twilight Sworn General, Launcher Commander, another Mrs. Radiant as our super rare, Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes for our rare, Revendred Origin, Perry Knights, and Treasure Panda. So I believe that means we have all, I believe that makes it so we have all these Supreme King Dragons, which is really cool. Um, I know they came out a little late. Um, they would have been really good in basically Pendulum Domination. Um, 
But you know, they're still interesting. It's still gonna be interesting to see how a Zark deck works after Link Summoning, because it's so extra deck heavy. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice rare to have there. So really nice set of rares, I should say. We got Boogie Trap, Jane Twilight Sworn in general, Speedroid Passing Glider. We have World Chalice Guard Dragon as our ultra rare. Goki Suprex as our rare. Three Strikes Barrier, Hackworm, Twilight Cloth, Abyss Actor, Trendy Understudy uh, to finish off that pack. Okay. Getting a lot of World Chalice cards here. So that's really nice. Um, I know those are supposed to be like pretty good. Are uh, probably the best archetype out of this set, so that's really awesome to get. We got FA Sonic Meister, Zombina, World Legacy Landmark, DD Vice Typhon, Cyber Swizzard again, Ryko Twilight Swarm Fighter, Hackworm, Twilight Cloth, Abyss Actor, Trendy Understudy. Alrighty. Let's see here. We have Junk Breaker. DD Vice Typhon, Emerging, Emergency, Rescued, Rescue, Goki, Twist, Cobra, Supreme King, Dragon, Clearwing, a third Revenge Red Origin, which is really nice. I believe that's our third one, so that's awesome. Gravity Lash, Pred of Plant, Banksy Ogre, and Supreme Rage. Um, so yeah, I I know the Revenge Red stuff, I, don't, I think the highest rarity is a rare. I could be wrong, though, um, but I ended up picking up, uh, just in case, I picked up all of uh, the Slayer and the Hound Horde. Um, I know those are rares, so just in case. And then I think the Revendred Origin or Vendred Reorigin, the trap card, I think is probably the most expensive card. I think it's like $5 right now uh, for that one. So I haven't picked that one up yet, but I might have to. But yeah, finishing up here, third to last pack. Vendred Revenants, Emerging Emergency Rescue, Rescue, Galaxy Worm, Backup Secretary. Ib, the World Chalice Priestess. Revendred Slayer, very nice. And then Revendred Origins, we got the Ritual and the Ritual spell to go with it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Gravity Lash and Prep Lamp Banks Yogurt. Alrighty. Second to last pack here, let's see what we can end off with. World Legacy's Heart. Chosen by the World Chalice, Dark World Brainwashing, Trap Tricks Mantis again, World Legacy Discovery. Beckoned by the World Chalice, Ancient Gear Golem, Ultimate Pound, Wicked Acolyte, Chilem Sabak, and Twilight Twin Dragons, which is a really nice card if you have both Twilight or if you have both Judgment Dragon and Punishment Dragon. So that's awesome to get that. Um, that's going to be some nice support there. Alrighty, and our last pack. What can we end with here? Let's see. Junk Breaker. Jane Twilight Sworn General, Pulse Mines, Boogie Trap, and Goki Twist Cobra is our super rare. World Legacy World Chalice is our rare. Supreme Rage, Beckoned by the World Chalice, and Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. Alrighty. So that's going to do it for this box of Code of the Duelist, the brand new set of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, featuring Link Summoning. I'm just going to kind of go over these super rares, or, or foils while I'm talking here. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Um, always remember, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Your feedback is really appreciated. We love hearing from you guys. We love the support you guys have been giving us. Um, so it's really awesome to see, you know, how much you guys enjoy our content. So um, we'll definitely keep making more for you. We apologize about our schedule. We don't really have, like, a set schedule, but we're definitely working on that. Um, otherwise, guys, until next time, this is the Beard with the ABC Duelist. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have fun. See ya.